What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Garage and today I actually want to talk about the 2019 Camaro Refresh. Now, I did my video, I highlighted all the news, I kind of talked a little bit about what I liked and didn't like and all that other greatness, but I didn't really give you my full reaction on what I thought of the car. So, <clears throat> there's a couple things to highlight and I really kind of wanted to let it sink in. Not only did I stare at those images of the car, pictures of you know of the car that people took and also some new cars that have been found on the road that are uncovered already uh, there was a black one specifically and then obviously all of the renditions and renderings that have been created by so many people trying to save the 2019 Camaro refresh and it's it's kind of funny in a sense but I have to kind of sit back and just really analyze everything and I want to give you my truthful opinion on what I truly think uh, at first glance the SS I am very disappointed. Uh, it is not a car that I think looks very pretty from the front view. Uh, I do like the tail end. I like the way that they've restyled the tail end. The lights are, I'm 50-50 on them still. I'm not entirely sure if I like the tail lights 100%. I definitely know I don't like them more than the current uh, 2016 to 2018 Camaro. Uh, but I will say I do like the headlight design style. Now, I've seen tons of images where people are comparing the car to a Charger or to, God, what was it? There was a Skyline rear-end rear light that literally is shaped just like the Camaro. It's, it's kind of funny, but the front light. So it, it's kind of interesting. And looking again at the design, I have to say, like, the sea of black that is on the SS that they showed with a big old fat emblem right in the paint. Uh, first off, I was really shocked to see them remove the emblem from the grill. Uh, I don't like the positioning there. I I mean, just being brunt, I, and I feel bad because someone put a lot of work into this and GM had to have done focus group testing, I would assume, and get feedback for what people thought about this car before they release it to the public. But it just seems like they didn't necessarily get feedback from the core. Maybe that was their all intent, like their purpose, but I don't know. Um, I just, the front end of the car with the big bow tie in the paint, I'm not a big fan of that. I've seen some renderings where people painted the black, the same body color, uh, moved the um, bow tie up to the grill, and it does look better that way, I will say that. But the big thing, I keep telling myself, and I keep seeing a lot of people commenting on this, they're like, well, that the red 2.0 Turbo 1 LE actually doesn't look too bad. And yeah, it doesn't look too bad compared to the SS. But at the end of the day, it still looks like a Spark Malibu sedan, like front end. Like it does not look like a sports car, in my opinion. Now, will this design grow on me? Um, I don't know. Time will tell. Um, I will say the Mustang design did kind of grow on me a little bit. Um, when you compare it to the car that it replaced, it really didn't change that much. This car changed pretty drastically. And as you guys know, I've been, I've stated multiple times I did not like the Transformer rendition of the Camaro this time around. And even in some of my Instagram posts, I was just like, please, dear God, don't be the Transformer version of the car. And it was very much a Transformer version of the car. Now, if you guys don't know Gabe.Design over on Instagram, he made a cool little image tree of all the different generation Camaros and how they've married up to the Transformer rendition of the car and it's pretty safe to say if a new Camaro comes out it's going to look like the Transformer version because uh, it basically has every single time and uh, I find that kind of interesting and you know there, there's definitely a few upgrades with the car that I thought they did right you know I am kind of excited they're doing a 2.0 1LE I know I saw a lot of people that were kind of upset by that, but I think it's a good move. Um, how many people buy that car? Probably not a ton. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know the everything, but I will say um, the A10 automatic, as many of you pointed out, yes, it's the same automatic that's going into the Silverado. It is not the same one that's in the ZL1. It is the 10L80 versus the 10L90 and how that performs or what that means performance wise we don't know we still don't know what the performance difference is between the current ss and the refresh ss with that 10 speed we can deduce that it is going to be a faster car maybe by a tenth or two 
which will put it back ahead of the Mustang. Obviously, Charger and Challenger don't compete uh, stock for stock versus an SS. The Hellcats and the Demons obviously do, uh, but those cars are in a much bigger or higher league. Um, but we already have the ZL1s and the Copos and all those cars to compete with those monsters. So. That being stated, we know the GT500 is coming. It's probably going to be a really aggressive looking GT350. I'm excited for that car. I think that's going to be the best looking current generation Mustang ever to come out. Um, I, I am still very hopeful that GM will come out with a holy grail car like a Z28 to support this generation refresh. Dear God, please don't have the front end look like the SS or the RS. I'm hoping they more lean into the ZL1 grill, which they are keeping untouched. So that is one thing we saw in the spy shots, and that's also one thing they comment on, commented on in the reveal is that the ZL1 will not change. It will get the different taillights in the rear end, but it's not getting um, a front end refresh or a hood change or anything like that. You know, some of the other things of the stylistic stuff, like the hood reminds me very much of a Corvette uh, with a hood vent, um, not a massive fan. Um, the actual hood lines, again, I mentioned it in my other video, kind of reminds me of a Mustang. Um, the, the front end of an SS very much does look like a Charger. Um, you know, it's a little bit different, but it does have that kind of quirky look. And it just, I keep staring at this SS car and I just can't stop from thinking like, dude, they made it like a family sedan sports car. And I don't know, maybe they're trying to do a hybrid mix between people who really wanted the SS, the Chevy SS to come back. And so maybe they're now, because the Corvette's a sports car, they're gonna have the C7 and the C8 coming and maybe they're they're deciding to try something new and do a little bit more refresh. I'm a little sad they're trying it with the Camaro instead of just maybe coming out with a Chevy SS again, but I don't know. I just, I don't get it, GM. Um, and I, I, I feel bad. You know, I, I used to work in an industry uh, where a product reveal it's a big deal a lot of people listening a lot of people watching thousands of people putting in tons of hours you know making changes marketing products everything websites emails like galore social channel posts everything like all of these people have time invested in this product and i i would say 75 percent of current camaro owners are saying no thank you to the refresh now, are they gonna go buy another Camaro? Probably not. Uh, are they targeting a different audience? I sat down with my kids. If you guys saw me on Instagram, I asked my kids what they thought and I showed them a whole bunch of pictures of all the different cars. And they actually, they liked it. They didn't think it looked ugly. They didn't see any bad lines. But then again, they're 11 years old down to two and a half years old. My two and a half year old didn't really have any input. He just got excited when the other kids did. But. I don't know, I, I, it would be really interesting. Like I would love to be able to talk with a GM designer and find out what their goals were, what they set forward. Did they, maybe they were forced to follow some sort of GM protocol. If you notice all four cars that they released all have the same styling. So maybe they were forced into some sort of weird style guide that forced the Camaro to look like the way it is in this refresh. Uh, I don't know. I, you know, it, it would be really interesting. And and I will say the other cars that were revealed, the Malibu, I think it's the Cruze, and um, why am I forgetting the other one? There's a, a Spark, no, I, maybe it was. I don't know, there's a couple different cars. Those ones didn't look too terrible. I, I don't think those ones look bad at all. And I've seen a lot of people commenting on the Silverado not looking good as well. And I honestly really like the way the Silverado looks. Um, but a lot of people are like, oh, it's a Ford mixed with a Tundra with curvy corners and I, I, I don't know. I really like the new tund or Tundra. I like the. I really like the look of the new Silverado. I know a lot of people don't, um, but you know that's just me. So maybe it's just uh, different designs to meet different people's needs. But I mean, the Camaro has always been a widely liked style. Um, I, I mean, you guys all know I'm not. I I don't hate the fourth gen, but the fourth gen Camaro was probably the one Camaro that I was like meh. But now I look at this new SS and I'm like, I, I like the fourth gen better right now. <laughs> so I, I that, that's my thoughts, that, that really is. And you know, to whoever did do the design or the team that did do the design, like, I'm sorry that you guys are seeing so much backlash and feedback around it, you know, and, and no one knows the protocols or what restrictions you were forced within to create this car. Uh, but I will state that it's pretty unanimous that most people 
don't like it and I'm sure quite a few people will come around and like the SS design. Maybe if you guys do offer a body match color and move the bow tie, that would be awesome. If not, I'm pretty sure the aftermarket world will create it. Um, but it's very interesting to see the direction you guys are going. Um, you know, I, I just, I, yeah, fifth gen Z28. I'm gonna have to get one of those. I, unless, unless there is a hope for a Z28 for this model that does follow the front end styling of a ZL1. I think that will be the savior car of Camaro, uh, for the refresh. I, I, I do truly believe that if they can come out with a Z28 or a hypo car or a refresh ZL1 of some sort with the front end of the current ZL1, that could be good. That could be good. Um, and it's funny to see all these internet designers coming up with interesting designs or tweaking the GM design right now. And some of them look pretty cool, but like, hey, we'll, we'll take payment from Chevy if you need some help on the design next time. It's like, yo guys, you designed a car that was already designed. You just, no. <sighs> Designing cars is hard. It's hard to please everybody. It really is. And I know a lot of you guys are upset or sad or it's not making me want to hate Camaro or anything. Hey, it's a, it's a misstep in my eyes. And uh, can they change things? They possibly could change some things. It's not too late. Uh, production models are not too far away. Maybe they've already even thought about some of the changes and they left the car how it was to see how the world reaction would be to it. I don't know. But... It seemed very suspect that the reveal of the car was very toned down. They chose just a TV show on it. It was very quiet. I mean, even my video that I made was almost alone on YouTube, minus press articles for a very long part of the day. It made it was really interesting to see. Like it almost felt like GM knew the design wasn't amazing. So I. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know you guys have already just said, I don't like it, it's ugly, it's fugly, it's whatever. You guys have used so many um, describing words <laughs> on YouTube. I do ask that you guys please keep it PG in the channel. Um, but you know, let, let's get some real thoughts down below, not just I think it's ugly. What is it that you dislike? Is it the entire design? Do you hate the lights? Do you hate all the lines? Like, I actually like a lot of the lines on it. It's just, there's a few things, it just feels so, flat in one dimension and maybe it's the pictures i mean i've seen other photos at different angles where it's like oh i i see a hint of it's like it looks good from this angle and i mean maybe gm picked the wrong angles to take pictures but honestly i think if a car doesn't look good at most angles then you're not gonna like it right like your first knee-jerk reaction is gonna be i either hate it or like it uh, or love it or whatever adjective you want to use but um, I will say I, I am let down by the refresh. I am not completely writing it off yet. Um, I do think a potential hypo model with a ZL1 style front end with an NA motor could still be in the works. I'm probably wrong, but I'm hopeful. You know, me, Camaro fan. Um, if not, fifth gen Z28 in the lethal garage. I think that, that would be good. Uh, and my car still slowly coming together. went down. Um, <laughs> Oh, story. So got my car back, got all the painted pieces back on the car, drove to Poway once, super slow like a grandpa. I was like, you can even ask Maple Fed. I was driving like a grandpa, three massive rock chips in the front. It looks like one rock just rolled off the bumper and took a big chip out of it. So they touched that up today. So instead of my car getting uh, wet sanded and polished today, that's happening on Saturday. They did fix the rock chips and it should blend in perfect. And then I'm going to Cali Tints to just get the front bumper uh, wrapped with um, a clear bra. So hopefully I don't have to deal or deal with a heck of a lot less rock chips. So I'll have more details on all that in a second video. As always guys, if you enjoyed this conversation or you agree or disagree, post in the close, blah, 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 post in those comments down below. I can't even talk. Uh, if you guys enjoy the channel overall, hit that subscribe button. Um, but outside of that, I do thank you for watching the video. And until next time, I do hope to see you on the road.